Hello, how's it going? Welcome to this video. We're talking about this thing here. It is the Dokiware. What is the name? It's long. It's the Dokiware Mezo Black V3 Silverback Glove. Um, that is the official name of this glove. Uh, just know that it's the version 3 glove by Dokiware. What's special about this glove? First off, $19. They have three different versions of gloves. I don't know the difference between version 1 and 2, but version 3 has wrist support. And version 1 and 2, I think, are $17, and version 3 is $19. So $19 plus tax plus whatever shipping is going to be, it's a pretty good buy, in my opinion. Now, the reason why I got this, again, like I said, is the wrist support. So the wrist support's really nice because, you know, you're an artist and you want to protect your wrist. And uh, if you're like me and you're getting older, <laughs> the cost of getting older, um, your wrist starts to hurt sometimes when you're drawing or if you draw for long hours for multiple days, uh, you start to feel pain in your wrist and sometimes around your elbow and that's not good. Now it could be a number of reasons, it could be because you draw for long hours and you're moving your wrist around like ways you're not supposed to or it's because you have a heavy hand like I do and I'm very bad at uh, fixing that problem. So even though I have the option to change the pressure sensitivity and stuff, it just feels more natural the way I draw. And getting something that has wrist support is very helpful. So before I got this glove, before I found out about this glove, I actually had a regular wrist brace, which helped with the wrist problems a lot. Um, the support was good and everything, but because the support was so stable and so good on that thing, it made it like very hard to draw because I had no flexibility in the wrist area. Now for this one, although it's not the best support for your wrist if you have wrist problems, uh, it at least gives you enough flexibility when you're drawing to make it feel more natural and uh, just drawing with this thing feels a lot better than drawing with a regular wrist brace. Again, it's not as much support as your typical wrist brace would give you, but it's something and that's, that's enough because you want to feel comfortable when you're drawing, you don't want to feel like you can't draw because you got this thing on your your arm and you can't move your, your wrist the way that you want to when you typically draw. Now the nice thing about this thing is it looks nice. Um, you know, you got the logo on there, of course, because you got to advertise your company. Um, this thing has microfiber on the side of the palm here, as you can see, and on the fingers. So it's nice. You, you're kind of cleaning your screen as you draw. Um, they do recommend that you still spray your screen with whatever solution you use with and wipe it with microfiber, but it's nice to have something that doesn't leave smudges and whatnot. And although I, I would prefer that uh, there's no tips on these because I like to type and look for uh, my references, um, it's it's still nice. I, I might I'm, I'm inclined to cut this off, cut the tips off, so I can still type, but we'll see. Um, I do see a little bit of stitching coming apart already. I've only had this for a day, uh, actually two days, and I think it just came like that, but it's not a big deal. Um, the website makes it look like it's a navy blue color, but it is black with red. They don't have any color choices for the version 3 yet. I'm not sure if they're planning on making more colors, but they have different sizes. Um, so you get the user measuring guide or whatever and uh, find out what, what size you are. The thing with this thing, though, is it was out of stock for a few months, I think. I found out about it because of a friend on uh, an art discord that I'm part of. And when I found out about it, I found out that they had this version with the wrist support, and that's what made me want it a lot. Um, unfortunately, they were out of stock for a while, and I kept checking back on their website to see when they would be in stock. They kept updating it um, maybe every week or so. Um, they don't, they're not on Twitter, they're not very active on Facebook, so you just gotta go to their website. It's uh, dokiware.com. I'll have it in the link below, or in the description below, and you can check up on if they're in stock. They restocked recently, uh, at least from when I posted this video, so I would go check right now if you're interested in this thing and buy it as soon as you can. I've never seen, or I haven't seen any videos on Dokiware's other gloves on YouTube or this one, uh, so I figured I would just do something really quick and show you guys how it looks, looks neat, and it does what it's supposed to do. I normally don't use art gloves, uh, not because I don't like them, but because I lose them. 
but this one I might have to take better care of because of this. So if you are an artist who cares about your wrist and cares about drawing for a very long time, then I would recommend this. It's a very um, fair price in my opinion, $20 plus a little bit of tax and shipping here, probably like 25 max, 26, I don't know, uh, at least when you're in the US. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. You like it, you like the way it looks, you like that it has a wrist support, get it, $19. Pretty easy buy, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go back to uh, drawing on this thing. Bye.